the court of their majesties, Neil and Leda, you're on shout with King and Queen. My lords and my ladies, pray gather to the court of their majesties. You have the majesty's leave to make yourself comfortable. Let all members of the order of the chivalry of this kingdom here present come forward and kneel before the crown. Your Majesty, I will, and right proud and pleased to do so. Levin, and indeed all the gentles here, I would have you know that the laurel prizes excellence, the search for excellence, and the sharing of excellence above all things. Not for any prizes you might win, but for the win itself. And the night. Such is that excellence, as well does the law, but also knows a bit about what we're all <laughs> And this night can entertain a crowd, can build a tent, <laughs> and many other things. He is quite a very pleased to see you. Thank you so much. Who will speak for the Order of the Pelican? I will. Levin, popular. The Order of the Pelican. About serving, about building a strong kingdom, about doing all those things 
that need to be done so we can sit here today and do what we do. A night that does not serve the kingdom, that does not help build the foundation of what we do is a soldier. Clement is no soldier. Clement has been a knight for a long time now in my eyes. Clement has always helped those that have asked of him. And even those who haven't asked of him, Clement has gone out of his way to make sure that they are taken care of, that they have equipment, that they have clothes, that they have a beer. Let me exhibit all the skills of chivalry, service, and I am so proud this day to welcome into this series. And hopefully one day also into the Order of Colour. Who will speak for the Royal Peers? I will. I have known this gentleman for a long time now. And from the moment I met him, he was filled with courtesy and generosity, kindness, and all the chivalric virtues that I can think of. He still shows these to this day and is one of the most amazing people I have met. I thank him for what he has taught me about how to help, how to serve, how to fight, and how to make some of the most amazing things I've seen. He is truly one of the most chivalric people I have met. Eleven, we have heard great counsel. We charge you to heed their words and to be a good knight. Then it is time for you to remove yourself from any other obligations you may have. Is there any who have claim on this man? I have one. Not too long ago, we were discussing and we took the belt from my hand. This day I need that belt back. If it's no longer your belt, that's a squire's belt. And today that journey ends, and you start another, with another lord. And that's the kingdom of life. Oh, oh, oh. I release you from all fields and all bonds. This man needs a belt. Who has one? I do. Spurs. Times of old, prayers were used to go war horses on the victory in a greater challenge. 
with many great victories that were won by men who wore spurs. There are bushels full of spurs that have been hacked off in shame. Never let this fate befall you, or you will feel my wrath, not as your former knight, not as duke of this kingdom, but as a knight of no world, shall you feel my wrath. Is there a sword? Past ten years, Leather has walked the path. Now he starts a new leg of the path. Before that, had to see the sword for now been given the trappings of a knight, and it is now our will to bestow the accolade upon you. Grace, please. <coughs> we dub thee once. May your sword ever be strong to administer the crown's justice. We dub thee twice. May your shield ever be raised in the defense of the innocent. And we dub thee thrice. May your eyes clearly see the difference. We would have your fealty at this time. Is there a change? Not a complete chain. I have forged three links. One for the knight, one for the cross knight. I charge you to finish this chain. <laughs> to your liege and before your peers, repeat after me. Here do I swear. Here do I swear. By mouth and hand. By mouth and hand. Filthy and service. Filthy and service. To the crown and the crown and kingdom of Lucca. To speak and to be silent. To speak and to be silent. To come and to go. To come and to go. <laughs> to strike and to spare. To strike and to spare. To do and to let be. To do and to let be. In such matters as concern the kingdom. In such matters as concern the kingdom. On my honour. On my honour. And the lawful command of the crown. And the lawful command of the crown. <laughs> in need or in plenty. In need or in plenty. In peace or in war. In peace or in war. In living or in dying. In living or in dying. In this hour from this hour henceforth, until the king depart from his throne, until the king depart from his throne, or death take me, or, death take me, or, the, world end. or the world end. So say I. So say I. London at Groupage. This we hear, and we shall not forget. And we, for our part, do swear fealty to you, to protect and defend you and your household with all our power, until we depart from our throne, death takes us, or judgment comes. So, so say we, we lock up. up. A knight must know humility. A knight must remember his oath. Let this help you remember it. Arise, Sir Blessing. Drink your peace. Huzzah! Huzzah! These are quarterly, azure and verse, 
a stag triggered between four mullet argent, to bear and to hold without let or hindrance throughout their realm. By our word and hand, this 30th day of November, Anno Societatis 48. Nial King Leodan Queen. <laughs> I would have shaved if I knew. For Sir Blessed and Griffin, U.S. Knight of the Kingdom of Lockhart. Hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip! Crowd! The crowd! There is to be a vigil. At a later time today, details will be provided. <laughs> <laughs> there being no further business, all right! Long live the King! Long live the King! Long live the Queen! Long live the Queen! For the Crown Prince and Princess and the Barons and Baronesses of this realm! Hip hip! Huzzah! Hip hip! Huzzah! Hip hip! Huzzah! The court is ended. The Queen! Oh, the Queen! <laughs>